F. You are new to crypto. One of the first things you'll hear about is an exchange. People say buy it on Binance, trade it on Coinbase or move it off the exchange. But what exactly is a crypto exchange and how does it work? In this video I'll explain it simply so you'll understand the basics. A crypto exchange is like a marketplace where people buy, sell and trade cryptocurrencies. Just like you'd go to a stock exchange to trade shares, you go to a crypto exchange to trade digital assets like Bitcoin, Ethereum or thousands of other coins and tokens. It's the main entry point into the crypto world because most people first buy their coins on an exchange. There are two main types of exchanges, centralized and decentralized. Centralized exchanges, often called CEXEs, are run by companies. Examples include Binance, Coinbase, Kraken and KuCoin. When you use a centralized exchange, you create an account, deposit money, usually fiat like dollars or euros or deposit crypto and then you can trade. The exchange handles everything for you. They match buyers with sellers, keep track of balances and usually make the process very beginner friendly. The advantage of centralized exchanges is convenience. They often allow you to buy crypto with a credit card or bank transfer. They offer charts, trading tools and customer support. But there's a big catch. When your coins are on a centralized exchange, the exchange actually holds your private keys. In other words, you don't fully control your crypto. If the exchange gets hacked, freezes withdrawals or goes bankrupt, you could lose access. That's why the saying exists, not your keys, not your coins. Decentralized exchanges or DEXs work differently. They are not controlled by a single company. Instead, they run on smart contracts on blockchains like Ethereum or Solana. The most famous examples are Uniswap, PancakeSwap and SushiSwap. On a DEX, you don't need to create an account, you just connect your wallet and trade directly with other people through liquidity pools. You stay in control of your funds at all times, because the coins never leave your wallet until the trade happens. The advantage of DEXs is decentralization and security. There's no company holding your money, no sign up process and no one can block your trades. But there are downsides too. DEXs can be more complex for beginners, transactions can fail if the fees aren't set correctly and there's always the risk of interacting with fake tokens or scam contracts. Uh, so how do exchanges actually work behind the scenes? In centralized exchanges they use something called an order book where buy and sell orders are matched. On decentralized exchanges Trades happen through automated market makers, which use pools of liquidity provided by other users. Both systems aim to connect buyers and sellers, just in different ways. Exchanges are also where you'll see terms like market orders and limit orders. A market order buys or sells instantly at the best available price, while a limit order lets you set your own price and wait until someone matches it. These tools help you trade more effectively once you get the basics down. It's important to remember that exchanges are just gateways. They are great for buying and selling, but they are not the safest place to keep your crypto long term. Once you buy coins, the best practice is to move them to your own wallet, especially if you're holding for months or years. So to put it simply, a crypto exchange is where you go to buy and trade cryptocurrencies. Centralized exchanges are easy and user-friendly, but require trust in a company. Decentralized exchanges give you full control, but require more knowledge and caution. Both play a key role in the crypto ecosystem, and knowing the difference helps you stay safe and confident. And that's how crypto exchanges work. If this helped you understand the basics, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more simple crypto guides. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.